Hell yeah. Especially to my fans. I just appreciate niggas being patient. For real. Like, and not even saying patient, like, patient for, like, a body of music drop. Like, just patient, like, watching the progression. Like, patient for me when I, like, step back into this shit, step back from rap, and, like, was, like, having, like, personal issues. Like, patient for me to, like, come back and support me like I never left. Like, I just appreciate the fact, like, the, um, the pedals do y'all put me on, like, it make like I talk to other rappers a lot, and they just say like I need fans like yours, like you feel me, like so that's one thing I appreciate, like for real. Like um, I really appreciate y'all for real. Like meeting y'all in person at the shows, it's not like it's not like y'all tweet me and then I come and have a show, and it's not like y'all really show love like on the internet in real life. Like I really love y'all, appreciate y'all, like for real. Fucking hell yeah. Hey, shout out Montrealty, for real. It's an honor of me being right here doing this interview. I've really been watching this shit in class since I was a fucking shorty, for real. Like, it is a real, real, real honor. Thank you, God, for me being right here. Shout out Montrealty, it's lucky. I guess Spongebob or, you know, my tweets. I got some old tweets saying I hate Spongebob. That's how I know I was, like, really retarded when I was, like, 15, 14. I was just trying to be edgy on Twitter because I was really used to love Spongebob. I don't even know why I was saying that. But uh, probably Spongebob or, like, uh, what's that shit? What the fairly odd parents? Yeah, I used to like that shit. Huey Freeman from the Boondocks? Yeah, that's my... I was thinking about kitty shit, but... Really think about it, yeah, that's my favorite one. And because, like, the lessons in it, you know, that's obvious. Like, you feel me? That's like, I don't watch anime, but I like to think it's black anime. The, yeah, it's the transitioning period, for real, for real, to, like, like almost life-changing period. That's where I'm at. Because I used to just only have one demographic, like, weird kid listening to my music. Now nah, you got Pretty ass girls, weird kids, hood niggas, people I went to school with, like everybody know it's like all it takes is for the masses to see. Like, you feel me? Like I'm the king of the underground for sure, but the underdog, I was I ain't gonna lie, I really was the underdog for sure. For sure. Look got it voice. <laughs> and a real transition period in my life. That shit is pretty cool. Like something like you been, you know, nigga, rap. I'm 22. I've rapped since I was 16, so it's really something you've been waiting for. That's crazy. Like your moment, a fire. And it, it can't deny it because it's, the music is so pure and good. That's the best part about it. Like it's no gimmicks. Still, six years into it, there's no gimmicks. I seen it. Like I seen it all. You feel me? All the shit I could have did. It's no no gimmicks. It's good music. That's the best part about it. Uh, but I can tell you the realest shit I ever wrote. I could definitely tell you that shit easy, bro. Uh, the realest shit I ever wrote. It was probably uh, Low Life. When I first wrote Low Life, like, when I was like, I got propane in my APCs. Like, when I first wrote that shit, I, I made the beat. It, it was the second beat I ever made. I sampled this Max B shit. I go to the studio. I was with this girl. I used to love this girl. Only had, I had a lot of girls from my life, but I only had like, only count three of them. It was, um, I, I used to, I used to be nervous of recording in front of girls. So, but I don't know why. I brought it to the studio one day, it was me, her, Javon, it was me, her, Javon, and Saw Buck. And uh, I recorded this shit. I'm saying they name and shit was like a real gang anthem, but I'm saying real shit in it. It's low life, like why am I real? And I got goosebumps recording this shit, and I feel it in my stomach, like when I'm recording it. That shit, I ain't never felt like that before in my life. 
That shit was crazy. Like, I'm really feeling this shit in my stomach while I'm recording it. Like, I was on a roller coaster, but not in a bad way. That shit was crazy. That was the really shit I ever wrote. Well, that's what it felt like. Because that's when I really, that's when I first started rapping, like, giving, like, the, like, the real truth, you know? For real. Uh, that's crazy. I think about that a lot. I think about that a lot. That's fire, though. That's really fire. Like, that's really cool that it's black kids doing that shit. That's cool as, like, real street kids doing that shit. Like, Uzi, people think Uzi, we're the Uzi a street nigga, bro. You can see it. Like, Uzi being videos, hella, like, I don't know, I can't say shit. He's a hood nigga, and he, like, a, a fucking, a goth kid. That shit is fire, bro. It'll be really easy for kids to blend in because of people like Uzi. For real, for real. I really fuck with that. It just make black kids, like, because I know me growing up, going to, like, school, going to school in the hood with, like, hella, like, people, like, hood kids, closed minded kids, you feel me? Like, me being, like, an eyeball, like, you just, like, appreciate niggas like Uzi, because it's, like, kids that go to school, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't, I ain't, like, I ain't trying to sound. Like, I used to get two of niggas, but I don't want no school. I want never get bullied and picked on in school, you feel me, for being a weirdo, because I was, my freshman year, I had pretty ass bitches in school, you feel me? But it's just like kids that want to be weird and shit and want to be a little different. Like, ooh, like they have an easier time in school, you feel me? X just like a, like a legacy type of thing. Like, it's not the same. He was just so powerful. He just reached a lot of like kids in the under world, you feel me? You want to know something? I'm about to say something. Like, besides the, like his impact on people, because I really seen it, it's crazy. Like, that's why he died and fucked my head up. I'm like, bro. He was just like, like they loved him. Like, like when the people like, like the mainstream, like didn't want to accept him. Like it was so huge with the, what he had. It was no choice. Like they loved him, bro. Like they loved him. That shit was fire. Like I remember when I really was like, cause I remember when I thought like I was the best nigga in my bracket, my age bracket. And then like, all right, so I heard look at me, right? And then when he dropped his album, bro, then he just had different songs, bro. I, I'm like, bro, that was the only nigga. Like, I'm like, yo, this nigga really better than me at making music. I swear that's crazy. I'm not even just saying this. I put this on my son, like my, my mother, bro. Like, for real. That's the only nigga I'm like, damn, dude really, like, he can do things I cannot do. That's crazy. You feel me? Like, that's crazy. I really fuck with that dude music and his legacy overall. It's like an underground Tupac. Uh, that's a good man. Love, all right, you can be, one thing you can have it confused with, you can be attached to somebody and think you love them. Or you can like really like, love is like, That shit like a fucking perk dirty for real, for real. Like when this shit real, when you really feeling this shit. That shit fire, but that shit really, that shit will fuck you up. Honestly, it's a good thing, but it'll really fuck you up. I don't know, love is fucking, I don't know. It's a good question though. Like, I wish I really knew how to answer that shit. Look, I don't do psychedelics, cause when I was 15, I tweaked, bro. Tweet. I went to this party, I take acid, and I fucking fight. Like a dumbass. I take a tab of acid and I fight. You feel me? Like, you know how stupid that is, because you're just going into the trip with like a bag, you feel me? Like a dumbass, bro. I'm tweaking, bro. And you know, I'm squeamish, so I'm just, I don't like seeing shit like, like just changing, shifting and shit. Like, it was just a real visual thing. It was a long weekend. <laughs> yeah, I don't focus. And then I, did try, I tried to do it the second time when Alternative Trap came out, like two weeks after. I'm on the train with my homie, he like 18, I'm 16. 
<laughs> and then I do it on the train like a dummy, but I'm listening to alternative trap. The shit sound cool, but I'm just fucked. The shit was too much going on. <laughs> I just got off the fucking train and was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, I told the, I'm t- I told folks I was with, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to take it. I told bro, he was like over 18. I'm like, bro, just dip, bro. I'm like, you gonna get booked, bro, just dip. He's like, why? I'm like, bro, just dip. I got off the train. I just sat down and told the lady, like, hey, call the ambulance, bro. Because I knew how I went through last time, and it was going to be way worse this time because I'm by myself. Like, I was with all my friends the first time, you feel me? I'm like, just call. I'm thinking when I go to the, this one, I'm thinking, oh, I go to the hospital, they're going to be able to make me unhot because I know I got another eight hours left of this shit, you feel me? I just, I know I hated it the first time, so I know I'm going to hate it even more this time. I swear. So I go to the hospital. They ain't got nothing for me, for for real. <laughs> but they know what's going on. They really laughing at my stupid ass. And then they just put a little blindfold on me, you feel me? So, Because my parents' face was changing in my face. That shit was disgusting, bro. Like, that shit's nasty as hell. Like, melting and shit, shifting. Like, I, like ugh. That shit gave me goosebumps just thinking about that shit, bro. Mm, don't be followers. For real, don't be followers. And with the way the world set up, it's kind of crazy right now, but we got this shit in our palm, literally. We can do whatever we want. It's opportunities for everybody to do whatever. For real. Just don't be followers, for real. Like, what is, like, being somebody else, like, I be myself every day. That's the real thing I take pride in. That's why people fuck with me, because I be myself. Like, for real, it's just lessons and blessings, bro. You got to learn shit, bro. Like, can't nobody pep talk you through this shit. Like, just have faith in yourself, bro. Like, for real, you can do any fucking thing. People don't be just saying that shit. When niggas be telling y'all that, when niggas be telling us that, like, it, when like a super rich person be on the camera, like you can do anything. They was they de- they was just broke. They would just they be they be mind blown. They be really telling you you can do what the fuck you want to do, like you really can. That ass, like legit. Mom's reality show. Basically, your bitch, she decent. I smoke a gelati, then float out to Venus. I'm frequently shopping. They know me and name is. If you could believe it, then you could achieve it. I went to the hill that was straight from the peach, and the business you cuffing to me, she a eat it. For real, like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's really what's going on. No cap, like, on game.